This CoreCon training video is one of several covering the module CoreCon provides called Contact Management. In this training video, we're going to provide a brief overview of the Contact Management module and show you how to assign classifications to companies. To find this module from the main menu, go to Contact Management. This is the Contact Management module landing page. You can see it's a summary of the records that it contains. In this case, I have 146 active companies, one inactive company. I also have a company checkup, which is a subset of records that are found under the active companies based on several criteria. If I want to see a log style report of the companies and contacts, I go to reports. If I want to add a new contact manually, I can go to actions and click add manually. I've already started entering the information manually. Most of this is just fill in the blank. There's a couple things that you might want to notice. First of all, the company code is a field that's usually not required. You can also categorize a company as a bidder. Basic information under ship to and bill to address can be added. There is a place for a default tax code and default payment terms. In most cases, a government or tax ID is not required as that's maintained in your accounting software. And year-end tax forms are also created from your accounting software. There's also a place for comments. We'll click Save and Close. If you need to edit an existing company, the option to do that is here, this yellow pencil icon at the top. You can also see that you can import or set up insurance certificates and will be alerted to their status throughout CoreCon. There's also the ability to add multiple contacts and you can click add to add a new one manually. This is what the manual edit screen looks like. It's the same as the edit screen. Again, basic fill in the blank. Field labels highlighted in red means that it's a required field. CoreCon will generate the display name if you enter the first and last name. It's very important that all contacts have a contact email. CoreCon has a variety of correspondence features built into most of the primary features, but for those to work properly, you will need contacts, names, and an email address. You can also tag a contact as a bid contact. There's also information under the team link information. However, you do not need to fill this out if you're entering this manually, as CoreCon will generate this the first time you send this contact an invite to join the team link portal. It's also important to set a goal to not create any duplicate companies or contacts. Even if you have companies where from time to time you have to mail to a different address, you will only want to set up one company for that. You can use the business addresses at the contact level to vary those addresses project by project. We're going to discuss in a separate video how to import companies and contacts through a Microsoft Excel import template. If you need to make a company active or inactive, go to the blue column setting icon and add the column for active and then you can check or uncheck companies. If you need to see inactive companies or restore an active company to active status, go to the filter icon and click show inactive and mark a company active. That'll return the company to active status. Back to the contact management module landing page. CoreCon uses categories and classifications to group, sort, search, filter, and sometimes subtotal lists of company records. Having these classifications will benefit everyone in your company, especially if your list of companies is very long. This makes it easier for individuals in your estimating team or procurement team to find companies quickly to add to such records as an invitation to bid or an RFP. You'll also see there are log style reports that are also grouped by classification. To add a classification to a company manually, go to the Actions button next to the Active Companies 
and assign classifications. The next step is to select one or more companies. I'm going to select by a keyword and I'm going to select two electrical subcontractors and then click next. I can view the classifications available by clicking the view classification code and we covered these in a separate training video. I want to categorize these first by company type. These will be subcontractors for electrical and click select. I'm going to add another classification and use my master cost code list which I've called CSI space 2016. I'm going to tag those at the division level to electrical. You may also want to come down and tag specific master cost codes from the major level, for example, mid voltage and low voltage. And click select. I've also created a custom list under master cost codes. I called it subcontractor and supplier qualifications. So I can tag companies if they are a disadvantaged business enterprise. And we're going to tag these as women owned businesses and click select. When I click save, that information has been updated. If I go to the log style reports and I show a listing by classification and switch the filter to company types and click update report and we'll scroll over to that section, we can now see those companies appear under subcontractor electrical. They'll also show up on the subcontractor qualifications and under those selected cost codes from the master cost code list. If you'd like to know more about this information, we encourage you to go to the help articles under CoreCon Browser Solution and Contact Management. The information included in this training video, as well as more detailed information, can be found in these help articles.